Why? How are you? All right, this is going to be hard for me. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> is, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look right here at just the very tip of your head. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I did you look, comb that tip. You look beautiful. And yes, you've combed it to a perfect little bump mm. there. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. It's good to see you. Thank you. I heard that you don't. And I don't, I mean, it, this is, you don't work out at all. Is that true? Mm -mm, I just, just eat Doritos and think about working out. Really? Just naturally? And do you, is that true? It's all in the mind. It's well, the new thing. Yeah, that's right. Oprah says if you just fo focus on things, uh -huh. they will happen for you. That woman's brilliant. Oh, yes. <laughs> Genius. Yeah. Well, but it worked out for you, I guess, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, I work out, of course. Do you really? Yeah. Okay, all right. Because that would, I think that most women especially will get very, very angry and want to kill you. <laughs> We don't, don't want that. You do not want that. I, I also, come in peace. I heard that you have you have problems driving, that you're not a good driver. Where'd you hear that? I, from my segment producer. <laughs> yeah. He tells me everything. In fact, right now he's got his hand up me and he's just moving my mouth. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing down there? Um, yeah, this is true. That is true. This is very true. I'm a terrible driver. Um, I find driving meditative, like time to meditate. I don't know why. Oh, you get hypnotized while you're... Yeah, you know how when you're on a boat and, and sometimes you lose, your mind wanders because you're like just yeah. flowing with the water? I'm having that right now. I, <laughs> I, I get that when I'm driving and so I have a tendency to drive extra slow or hit the car in front of me or hit a tree. Really? Yeah. yeah how, many, like, how often, honestly, like in a year's time, how many accidents will you get in? I had three last year. Really? Wow. I just nicked my car recently. I plan on having no more this year. That's it? That's it for this year? I, I literally have to go focus, focus, green light. We want the green light. Red light, that means stop. No, wow. I'm not kidding. And as a pedestrian, how many accidents do you cause a year? I don't know those facts. You don't know those facts? Yeah. No. Like a lot of this, oh, you know, that sort of thing? Yeah, I really don't look at the rear view mirror. You don't. Oh, you don't. All right. Well, there's no need for or you. Or the get, side. You should get a driver like Paris Hilton. I'll drive you around if you want. Okay. Yeah. You can do that. <laughs> I'm a pretty good driver. Will you drive me home tonight? Yeah, I'll drive you. <laughs> I'll drive it to New York if you want. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Home is, is good. You're thinking home would be all right, yeah. and would I? And but then. <laughs> right, what is yeah. it? <laughs> it's turned into Driver the love connection home, here baby. all the time. Driver, home! <laughs> now they're, they're coming up with filthy things on their own. You, how did you get into acting? Did some lecherous guy grab you and say, hey, I want to be your agent? Or how did you do it? Did you decide it on your own? I did. You did? Yeah, when I was 13 years old. I had a plan for my life at 13. So your plan was but to... But my plan was to become an actress. And I was watching Punky Brewster, and I was like, oh, I should be <laughs> on that show. I should be Punky. And um, <laughs> someone wow. said, you know, someone had mentioned that, that there was talent agencies. And I really didn't get the whole thing. But I looked in the yellow pages, and there was talent agent. Salazar Navis, and that was a Hispanic, you know what? No, they just oh, like oh, making oh. those noises. It was a Hispanic <laughs> agency in Chicago, and I was like, Hispanic, I'm Hispanic. And um, I went in, and she was like, come back with your mom, and I brought my mom back. And at the time, I had like, you know, cha-cha streaks in my hair, and she was like, but we got to get your hair brown. And I was really? like, okay. And she explained the whole thing and how I had to look 13, you know, to get 13-year-old roles and blah, blah, blah. And I was so excited about it. And after we got out of the agency, my mom was like, yeah, she doesn't like you. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, why? Because your mom didn't want you getting involved, mixed up in this world? I guess. I mean, you know, they, my mom's from Puerto Rico. Everything, I'm sorry, I'm kind of thirsty. Everything that, that, that my parents do is very safe. You know, they're, they come from the old right, school. Right, they're they conservative. Have night, good job, don't cause any problems. And, and television, they thought that, you know, the people, they thought people lived in the television. Yeah, you know, wow. they, they had no idea. And so this was so completely foreign. And here I wanted to do this. And they're like, no, no. What does your dad think when he sees you in like Maxim Magazine or Stuff Magazine? You know, I always wanted longer eyelashes. Uh huh. <laughs> That's what he thinks? Yeah. <laughs> what, so that he can. I don't want to talk about it.
about it. My dad hates it. Oh, oh, he does. Oh, he hates it. Hi, yeah, Daddy. of course he hates it. That's not for dads. But no, he goes, why, Nadine? Why? Yeah. That's what he says. And what do you say to him? I, I don't talk. I get embarrassed. I don't want to talk about it. And actually, I've asked. I, I've asked my family members not to mention it if it comes out. So now he's finding out through his friends at work. Oh, and that's so, the worst. So yeah. then, in conversations with my mom, she also knows that I don't want to know because you know it's part of the business and. Fortunately, you know, my dad has to see the pictures once in a while. And um, so but now my mom, like, in a conversation will say, you know, he saw it, he doesn't like it. <laughs> and I'll be, like, changing the subject like I yeah. just did. Yeah, I, I don't blame eyelashes. you. I don't blame you. Yeah, and for dad, that's going to be a little embarrassing. The, all the guys at work drooling all over the magazine. I would think so, right? Yeah. And besides My Name is Ro, you have a movie coming out. And mm -hmm. who do you play in the movie? I forgot my character. You forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It doesn't matter. No, I play, a, I play a girl named Olivia. A girl named Olivia? Yeah. All right. And that's not Chick. the title of the film. And though. I wear a wig and I look like Hey Hey from the Monkees. But <laughs> Who's Hey Hey from the Monkees? <laughs> Don't you remember? Hey Hey from the Monkees. <laughs> yeah, but there was no Hey Hey. There was, the that monkeys. was the song. I know, but I, I call him Hey Hey from the Monkees. There was a Hey 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 on, I think on What's Happening, but there was no Hey Hey. And there hey. was a, wasn't there a Hey Fat Albert? We'll talk about it on your ride home. There you go. Nadine Velasquez. <laughs> My name is Ron Thursdays at 8 on NBC and the Kings of South Beach, March 12th on A&E. We'll be right back with music from Danity Kane. Come on back.